Right, let's get through this gate and the climb is starting now. Look, if challenges were easy, uh, the kind of is... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't even close the gate. I mean, <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another vlog. Right, so this one, this one is going to be a long, long series. I've just taken my very first steps on my seven and a half year Wainwright challenge. Yep. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and do all 214 Wainwrights in seven and a half years. If my maths is correct, that I will do 28 minimum a year. Minimum, that is. Take today, for instance, I'm doing three. I'm doing it the wrong way around. Well, a different way around. Normally you do Capels, Maiden Mower and then High Spy. Well I've started at Grange and I'm doing it the opposite way around. Starting at High Spy, down to Maiden Mower, up to Capels, down into Keswick. And already <laughs> it's so busy around here. So anyway, I would really appreciate it if, that is if you're new around here. What is with the traffic around here, man? Um, yeah, if you're new around here, come along. Join me on this adventure. Uh, there'll be blood, sweat and tears, no doubt. So like I say, come along, join with me. Subscribe, hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss these. Now, I'm not a religious person, <coughs> but I think it's quite fitting that within a hundred yards the of the start of this challenge, I've came across a church. Is that a good sign, a bad sign? I don't know. <sighs> right, come on. First stop, High Spy, which is the highest point of today's trek. So let's go. Oh, please watch you over me this time, I tell you. <laughs> please, please, please. Right. Let's go. I will say one thing, I've picked a pretty good day for it, so far, so far, oh dear, what a quirky little route this is. I'll tell you something, it's a busy route, there's a dog in the road. say I didn't think it traffic would be that busy around here mind there's a dog 
holding up that bin truck. <laughs> oh, love it, love it. Well, that was a... My God. That was a test for the uh, the waterproof boots. So far, so good. But it is soggy underfoot, I tell you. On the plus side, at least now that I'm on boggy ground, there's no more traffic. Because that was downright ridiculous. <clears throat> right. Let's get up there, then right across this ridge and on to Cab Bells. But first, High Spy. Well, that was a good start. So much for getting his help. Just started, straight away, I'm off the track. Thankfully though, I found it again. I kind of followed it, but not on it, if you know what I mean. But, that is not the start I wanted. And I need to keep checking this, this app. It's actually called, What is it? Outdoor Active. It's free. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. Download it, Android, Apple. So far, it's got me out of trouble. <laughs> so far, it's got me out of trouble. My God. Right. Let's get through this gate. And the climb is starting now. Look, if challenges were easy, uh, I can't even. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't even close the gate. I mean, <laughs> oh my days! <laughs> it just took me thirty seconds to close the gate. This isn't looking good, and neither is this looking good either. It's a bog marsh. Oh no, oh, I knew this was going to be fun, nope, nope, <laughs> oh no, no, um, I knew this was going to be fun, but I didn't think I'd be confused less than half an hour into it, oh dear me, see, see your city lads, we're not built for the outdoors, but I'm going to prove different, shall we say. So, come on, let's get some miles in these feet and get up to the top of here. I have got my camera, because I'm a photographer, uh, and it is a photography channel, and that'll be part of my documentation. But straight away, I might even get one out now. Get the big lens on, 70 to 200, carry it handheld, and just snap off some some random images. Because I don't want to stop every five minutes with the tripod and blah de blah de blah. Because it'll take me a week, not a day. So I'll get the camera out, like I say, and on the trail. I'll just put them up on the screen as I'm trying to breathe and trying to do this trail. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Right, come on, Dan. Come on, son. You can do this. Damn you, Wayne, right? Damn you. I mean, thank you, by the way. I, I really do. I mean, thank you. Nothing against the guy, but. I bet he didn't have GPS maps. Right. 
catch you back in a bit guys hopefully oh dear right another gate and another way to open and close it with the catch that was a bit of string this is a chain right I'm not getting beat twice <clears throat> right right come on come on Boom. yep yep oh yes okay so far so good <coughs> piece of cake man I don't know what all the fuss is about yeah I'm a natural at this a natural anyway I think I need to head that way man that's high that is really really high thankfully like I said before it's the highest point on today's trail so when I get up there it's all <laughs> it's all downhill it's been downhill from the start right <laughs> if I've uploaded this I've survived if I don't you haven't seen the trials and trepidations that I've gone through if that's the right terminology I don't even know right come on let's carry on This is my first time, this part of the Lake District. And I've got to say, and all honesty, all joking aside from, from earlier, this is an absolutely beautiful area, honestly. With personal, well, not personally, I don't, but I think a lot of us take it for granted the Lake District. Um, this is only my my first Wainwrights, if you like. I've done I've done some in the past. I have, but I didn't document them, and that's what I'm doing right now. But I, straight away, my first one, I'm already in awe of the whole the whole area. I've got another 213 to go. Well, 211 after today. There's cascades, there's waterfalls, there's sheep up there. There's snow-capped mountains just to my left. There were water right behind us right now. Honestly, I am genuinely, I mean, I, I say I'm speechless, but I've jabbered on for nearly two minutes. But you know what I mean, it's, it leaves your, your mind in awe of the whole, the whole vista of the area. Truly, truly amazing, honestly, it really, really is. I keep stopping. This is going to take me a long time if I keep stopping this. Seven and a half years, absolutely no chance if this is what it's going to be like. <laughs> wow honestly wow the cloud is just low enough to kiss the top of the hills and the fells but i will say one thing as well mind you on the big ones the scar fells the old man not old man of store that's isle of sky coniston and Scarfell, skiddo i am going to wild camp those ones because they are big big hikes and I don't want to rush it up and down in one day. Um, I want to really take in that whole area. And I think a wild camp will do it justice. A sunset followed by a sunrise. So honestly guys, you, if you're new around here, I highly recommend that you subscribe to this, to this channel. Because this is going to be an adventure. And I really, really want to take you guys with me. Honestly, I really, really do. Yes, I'm documenting for myself and my daughter, but I want this, this channel to be a community. And I wanna 
bring you guys along with me. On the subject of community, I've got a Facebook group actually called Creative Community. I'll leave the link in the description and come along and join us on there. Fantastic group. I'm not doing anything, anything silly just yet. When I get to the tops, I will get the tripod out. It'll give me an excuse to stop. <laughs> but um, yeah, for now, all handheld. But that's four minutes and 41 seconds of jibber jabber jibber jabber. So I do apologize. Right then, as you can see, behind me, Derwent Water, and we're making some good height now. Really, really good height. I think we've been going maybe 45 minutes perhaps, maybe just less than an hour. The wind's picked up, that's when you know you're getting high. On ground level, you think, oh, this is a nice day. You get a few hundred meters up and you feel that wind. And that's when you know you've climbed. Oh, but I think I can see the trail. If I'm not mistaken, it's about here. It goes up there, up there, and up there to the ridge. If that's a false summit, <laughs> if that's a false summit, which I don't think it is, I will not be happy. But I will say one thing, if you're deciding to do with these, these Wainwrights, these three, Capels, Maiden Mower and, I forgot the third one, no? Anyway, this one, I'll put it down here, my mind has actually gone. I recommend you do it from Capels side. That's a gradual climb, gradual, gradual, this one. You can't really tell on here, but all this, all that, I kid you not, is like that. My toes just about touch my shins. Not literally, but you get the idea. Yeah. Start a cop bells and work that way. I mean, by all means, you know, I'm not telling you to do it that way. Do it this way. I'm just giving you a heads up. Call it a public service. Right. Let's try and get up to the summit. The summit, not the false one. The peak of this fell. And by the looks of it, it kind of gets a little bit easier. Too much easier, granted, but I've only stopped once. I mean, I've stopped to turn round and have a, a look at the vista, but I've had the bag off once just to take on some water. Um, got to stay hydrated, regardless of the year. Uh, I've got a, a flask of tea and a bottle of water in my bag. I've also got something else in my bag that's very, very personal to me. Um, again, I'll explain at the top. Um, I, yeah, I won't go into detail now. Like I say, very personal to me. So we'll get to the top and I'll, I'll explain all. Now, I've come to a point where I need to cross this stream. Now I assume in the summer, this will be next to nothing. First week in January, a lot of rain. That's what I'm contending with. So I thought I'd document <laughs> the experience. Let's have a go, shall we?
Easy. Not wrong with that one. Piece of cake that. Absolute piece of cake. Look at that. I'm a natural. A natural born idiot. Right. I'll put you back and I have to get the app back out because as you can see the eyes are looking round for the trail I think I can see it mind right bring it back in a second guys I wish that was the summit but it isn't it's just a little cairn and I've left my mark as you can see I'm having to guard the microphone the wind is right in my face when I'm walking up thankfully it's another what maybe 200 meters and I should be at the top and fingers crossed after that it's just pretty flat over to Maiden Moor and Cap Bells right one last go I think then we're at the top right come on thank the Lord the only downside to this is where I came up I turned left then I've got to turn back and go back the same way to Maiden Moor so I think it's about half a mile half a mile back so it's an extra mile on the trip but whoa, whoa. well the battery my battery went dead apologies for that but as you can see the wind has really really picked up to the point where I can barely walk so let's get up there give it a tap take in the vista and head out over to Maiden Moor this thing is huge by the way it must be maybe seven foot in, in height I'll show you when we get over there I'm about five foot six right let's get over there before this wind takes me off the edge Whew. Wainwright, official Wainwright that is. I am so glad. Ah, yes. Wainwright, number one, in the bag. Guys, please, please, if you're new round here, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, send me a message in the, in the message section, in the comments down below, I can't even speak, wow, 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 right I'm gonna have five minutes, As you can see, the wind is atrocious, but I made it, I made the first one, that's High Spy, ticked off the list, now 
now I'm just heading over to Maiden Moor. The terrain, thankfully, isn't too bad now. It's a lot better than the start of the, the hike. But, uh, welcome sight. I can't feel my lips. It is cold. Right now it is the 9th the 9th of January 2023. So ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh dear. And that That is deep. Oh dear me. What a morning so far. But I was going to stop up on High Stye and have a coffee and and whatnot, but it was far too dangerous. I had to perch myself, sat down behind the cairn just to get some handheld images. I could not set up the tripod up there. I couldn't barely stand up, and I've got to play everything safe in these conditions. Yes, nice images would have been nice, and possibly the ones I've got could well be nice. But like I say, first things first, safety. You have to be safe. I mean, in my bag, I have a 24-hour ration pack. I have a stove, water, a whistle. Uh, what else have I got? I've got what three words on my phone, a power bank for my phone, a thermal blanket, like a tinfoil blanket, and I think, I think I've actually got a flare. So I am well prepared, maybe a bit excessive, but in my opinion, you can't be too careful. You really, really can't. Um, I spent a lot of time in the TA, the Territorial Army, and I learned a lot in there. I learned a lot. Some of it's coming into play today, in fact. But I'm starting to climb a bit more now. You can probably tell by my breath and the, the way I'm walking. So I'm going to put you away and concentrate on this on this high ridge. So I'll bring you back a bit closer to Maiden Mower, guys. Right, just while I've got a break in the wind, um, I've got a ridge, ridge line here. That's given me a bit of shelter from the wind. I want to explain what I mentioned before about something very, very personal to me. Three and a half years ago, uh, my dog Ellie of 15 years sadly passed away. Um, I did bring it up to Cap Bell's, well, I brought her ashes up to Cap Bell's the day after I got them back. And obviously I, I kept them. Um, and that's the only wearing right that we did together until today um, and until future adventures. I brought her with me um, and I will continue to bring her with me on every single wearing right I do. Um, like I say, I never got the chance to have her walk the wearing rights with me, but now she will follow me in my backpack every single step of the way. Um, like I say, it was three and a half years ago, and it's still quite raw, if truth be told. Yeah, um, so I, I brought her with me. Um, there she is. And this is the adventures that we will go on together. So yeah, if ever you see me on a Wainwright, or if you ever see me on a Wainwright, know that I, I will have her with me in my backpack and it's that's just nice for me personally to document this as much as this is I'm documenting just 
a huge series on YouTube of my Wainwrights. I can look back on every single adventure I do now knowing that I've got her on my back every step of the way. So yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd, um, I'd share that with you guys. Hope you don't mind. But we're on our on, <laughs> my lips are numb. We are on our way to Maiden Mower. Uh, I think it's just over the next ridge. And thankfully, just over that ridge, there's some light. Th finally, finally, there's some light. So I've got the camera out. Uh, the Fuji XT100 with the 24 to 105 Canon. You're thinking Canon lens on a Fuji. Yes, I do have the adapter. So that really helps with, uh, with, the, with the connection, really. Ooh. All right, guys. I really hope you can hear me. I'm not sure you'll be able to, but if you can, this microphone is blooming amazing. Anyway, I'm on top of Maiden Mower now. I'll give you a, a vista. There's Catwells behind me. Oh, oh dear. Oh. And just behind me there again, is where we just came from. Just up there. That's where we came from. Right, Maiden Mower, check, done. That's High Spy and Maiden Mower. Pretty good going so far. So anyway, as you've seen at the start of the video, I went into that church and I kind of uh, asked the big fella, I mean, I'm not religious, it's, you know, it's a bit of fun. Religion is serious, I get it. I'm not... Anyway. I asked the big fella to uh, just watch over me today. Um, and he's came in clutch twice. Once at the top of High Spy, I was coming down and I took a tumble, truth be told. Um, went down, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm literally, I'm upset. Thankfully, it was just on the, uh, it wasn't near the edge. Wow. And the second part was this wind muff came off and I literally seen it in the corner of my eye. How on earth that isn't five miles from me right now in this wind I do not know honestly how I managed to grab that within six foot of me I will never ever know honestly because that wind that's probably some of the strongest wind I have ever ever experienced I kid you not so with that being said actually when I'm on camp belts. <sighs> right then guys, 
so I think it's been maybe about 45 minutes since I last checked in with you guys and I'm still <laughs> I still haven't made it to Cat Bells yet reason being I brought the tripod with me and because of the wind on High Spy and Maiden Mower there was no chance I was getting it out off the bag it was pointless it was just handheld as best I could so when I got the chance just coming off the ridge back there just behind me I thought no wind there's some lovely light over on Cat Bells well at the bottom of Skiddo there's some really really nice light right I think I'd better make a bit more tracks get over this Cat Bells and get back down to Keswick because it's around about 2 p.m. now sunset is around about 4 p.m. and there's rain forecast at 3 p.m. so and I've got to walk from Cat Bells into Keswick and that's an hour so yeah now you understand my predicament so I'll check back in when we get to the top of Cat Bells and as I said earlier, I really, really hope you're enjoying this, guys, because I am absolutely living the dream right now. I can see this Wainwright challenge being very challenging, but so, so rewarding from a personal standpoint. I mean, right now, I'm, I'm bursting with self-pride, and I don't say that much. I really, really don't say that much. But I've just completed, well, I will have completed three Wainwrights in one day. And that for me is an achievement. Set yourself goals and try. If you don't try, you're guaranteed to fail. I know it's a cliche, but it's a cliche because it's true. If you fail, you've tried. If you don't fail, have you tried hard enough? I'll put that to you. Bit of a mindset there.